I, I got to tell you, and I'll just reveal what I said. We went to the commercial break, and I said, dude, you brought it today. I mean, you were you were good. I brought the thunder there, Judge. I brought it. Is that a concession speech by any chance? No, no, Gigi? no, 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 no. Not when Sin Su Chu is involved or McGregor's promoter. <clears throat> no, not really. Just sneaking in. Yeah, and speaking of that, I mean, another one of these gate crashers, he strikes again. He's like a human monkey wrench. This annoyingly British Zach Alsop walked into the McGregor Mayweather presser in England because McGregor's driver, like an idiot, Instagram pictures of promoted credentials, like he's some sort of big deal, which I'm sure he's now Fired. McGregor's ex-driver <laughs> at this point yes. because of this. Alsop photoshopped the pick, laminated his own pass, got into the event, and walked right in next to McGregor. Now, this guy's not the first person to pull this kind of thing off, but uh, like Mike alluded to, by documenting it, with the with the by the way the most boring 12 minute explanation ever he totally shot his load because now every event in england is going to have a photo of this guy posted at security to keep him out <laughs> yeah. he's spoiling it for all the cool kids i mean it's clever but hey it's 2017 there's terror everywhere you look you can't let that go in today's world yeah, I, I I couldn't uh, understand why. Like somebody texted in on the text I board watched, about that. I watched all twelve minutes too. By the way, Judge, and I mean I've been in some of those background areas, but I just thought at some point isn't somebody going to call this guy's bluff and know that he's not supposed to be there? And sadly, no, they did not. You watch the whole twelve minutes, PT. Next time I paint my house, I'm going to sh- send you a video of the paint drying. <laughs> well, I wanted to, I wanted to be uber prepared for my stories. <laughs> Duly noted. Mike, in case we forgot how hapless the Nashville Predator fans were, a fan revealed he just checked his phone now to see that he won tickets to game six. Sheesh. I mean, it never ends with the Predator fans. I mean, there's no harm in this case because they did lose the series in game six. I mean, would you pay to go to a game, Mike, that ends with Sidney Crosby pirouetting all over the ice with a cup over his head? (laughs) Was that the game that he won the tickets for? Yes. Yeah, it was the it was the game they ended up losing the Stanley Cup. Game uh, six. Well, I don't feel as bad for him then. You know, I didn't get to go to Jacksonville when the Eagles went to the Super Bowl in 05, and I am so glad I didn't. I had friends who went to the Super Bowl, and the, after they, they lost, they just went off the grid. They never came back to Philly. Right. <laughs> they just dropped out of society from despair and depression. One or two of them still live on the beach in Jacksonville. Oh, man. They went there an Eagles fan, and now they braid hair for tourists <laughs> for a living. <laughs> I mean, who needs that kind of gift? So that, that guy actually got a gift by not checking his phone. Right. Peter, the advanced photos of Al Pacino as Joe Paterno are scary, haunting, and, I mean, even though it might ruin his credibility, I really want Al Pacino to play Paterno as all the characters from his earlier movies. Like <laughs> Godfather Part Two. I knew it was you, Jerry. You broke my heart. <laughs> or and justice for all. I'm out of order. You're out of order. Sandusky's out of order. Graham Spanier's out of order. This whole college is out of order. No? How about this one? He can do a, a pregame pep talk to the players in the locker room as Tony Montana from Scarface. Oh boy. In this country, first you get the handoff, then you get the touchdown, then you get the woman. Booyah! I just, I just see you in the damn steak of commercial. That's all I keep seeing. Isn't it though. great? I feel like he could have done like six or eight more of those too, like good, scent of a woman, or he could have worked. He could have worked in, the, yeah. you know, all dog day afternoon. He could have worked in a bunch of, them, you know. I'll do a sequel tomorrow. How's that? That'd be great, Donnie Briscoe. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Black is a rat because Johnny Red said he's a rat. <laughs> no, I thought he was a friend of us. Yeah, okay, okay. Mike, before we go completely off the rails, this guy on Craigslist actually made a nearly life size Joel and B doll out of balloons. It looks so much funnier than it sounds. The guy and it's legitimate. I don't think it's a joke. I mean he wants to trade tools for the balloons. I 
I feel like his perception of Embiid's head is somewhat offensive, though. I mean, did you really look at it? It's I don't know how you can twist up balloons to make them not look offensive. But this guy makes Embiid look like Mr. Potato Head with a hangover. Uh, the the fact that he was so descriptive in what he was asking for, he had to be serious. The balloon face looks more like me than Joel Embiid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. I mean, little right kids there. love balloon animals, but if they come home from school and see this creature in the living room, they won't sleep for a week. You might be right about that now that I'm looking at this thing again. Right about yes. what? That it's <laughs> offensive, looks like me, or would scare children? Or all the above? D, all the above. <laughs> that he looked like you. <laughs> I think it looks more like me than Joel. I'm on the record. Uh, uh, yeah. Plus, my knees really do bend like that, so that's something else. I don't think the guy knew about that ahead of time. So, PT, uh, Texas Rangers outfielder Shin Su Chu, which already sounds like a character spoof from South Park. Thank you. Uh, played a fly ball in the sun against the Royals in the bottom of the ninth the other night. The Royals won the game. Uh, you know, this play reminded me of how every one of those Bad News Bears movies ended back in the <laughs> 70s and 80s. You know, there'd be some genuine Little League baseball action, and then Oglethorpe would let a blooper bounce off his head or something. <laughs> Oglethorpe. <laughs> I feel bad for Shin Su Chu. Uh, people are petitioning him to change his name to Me So Clumsy. <laughs> I think that's borderline offensive. I don't agree with that at all. He does hail from Korea, where I'm not even sure if they're allowed to have sunshine. <laughs> so maybe in South Korea, they're, maybe they're allowed to have it on special occasions. I really don't know how that works. So maybe that explains how he lost it in the sun. And what team does I feel he bad play for? for? He plays for the Texas Rangers. Okay. There, there's a lot of sunshine down there, though. Sure. There you go. This was the path we chew. <laughs> oh, <Jeff>. Michael, <laughs> uh, the Jose Quintana trade to the Cubs by the White Sox went over all of the media's heads due to the All-Star game. But these two people on Reddit, they called it ahead of time, and their names are Katy Perry's Booty Hole and Wet Butt 23. That's right. Which could be the same scenario, actually. But anyway, they, you know, could be an alt. Uh, one could be an alias of the other. But I mean, cr credible name handles aside, here, this is just shooting darts with a blindfold on. Okay, I mean, did you hear how the one how Booty Hole knew that the trade was going to happen? It's like they got it for the scoop from a friend whose brother's friend works for the Cubs. That's right. Yeah, bet the farm on that rumor. Well, it turned out to be hey, true. Hey, Mike, I heard uh, I heard Pete Thompson is moving to Nebraska for a TV job oh, because my friend's hairdresser's cab driver's mailman's dog sitter <laughs> knows someone in Lincoln who hired Pete Thompson. Uh, hashtag alternate effects. Sure. Uh, side note: It was revealed that Perry's new album lyrics were actually sung by Katy Perry's booty hole. <laughs> the single went double flatulum. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking myself up over here. Guys, we are at the end of three from the guys. Great job on a Monday. You guys really brought the noise. Uh, and I have to disagree with what with, with both of you thought were your best stories. I have to give all the hot air to the the hot air that was used blowing up all the balloons for Joel Embiid. Mike Gill, you've won three from the guys. Yes. We have a winner. Congratulations, you are one of life's winners. We'll be right back. How about that, Pete Thompson? The two stories you enjoyed didn't even get me the victory. It was the Embiid story. Anytime you can bring the big fella in. I just enjoy that, Judge. He sure did make me laugh today. Thanks, guys. Well, Judge, you deserve a little time off. We'll hear from you in about four minutes from now. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm on the case. Good job, guys.